Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And today I'm going to show you how I've been doing my emails lately. I've been doing them without a keyboard. I've been using the pen and I've been using the float mode. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I have this little tiny float mode over here. So here, I can move the cursor around. So certain things do not become accessible with pen only. Like in a browser, um, if you pull with the pen, you're going to go back instead of dragging an object. So having this, having right click available, like this uh, little tab right here, a little box, let's right click. And then I have a bunch of different things here. So here, if I wanna bring up the keyboard, um, I actually use the small keyboard here. So you can do uh, swipe to type. And it looks like I have cap locks on, so let's do that. You can use this. You can type using your voice in any text field using this icon right here. I have enter backspace. So if I wanted to delete part of this and redo it, uh, I can do that uh, really quickly. And I can tap out those, or again, I can do like this. Uh, I use text expansion software. So if I type a word here, that I have inputted into Keypress OSD, uh, that allows me to expand that out. So like my email address, this expands really quickly. Uh, I also like to use emojis. So um, let's go ahead and move this over a little bit. And this, you can change the transparency. So if you know what these buttons are, you can bring the transparency down so it's almost invisible. So here, let's say I want to add a smiley face. Cool. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. All right, so there's a couple other things. Um, here, if you press the right click button and drag, it allows you to copy. Now I have copy and paste and cut all attached here to the keyboard. Um, like I showed backspace, enter and microphone. So here, I can tap this and then just talk, and that's a really fast way without bringing up the keyboard to allow you to type. And let's tap it again. You can see here, and we can go down to the next field. So this is very customizable. Um, one of the other things that I added that I, I think is really important when I'm typing, well, sometimes I need a number field, so I can I can tap right here. and that, that provides me with some extra functions. That's the assist pad. And then this one right here, this is undo and redo. This right here is a screen, screen grab. So I'm doing tech support and I wanna be able to say, okay, you guys need to click these icons right here. And how easy is that? So it allows me to copy and, and input those things for uh, emails. It makes it really fast and easy. All right, so let's finish this email off. I'm going to do SIG and I'm done. I just go up here, tap send, and I've done my email. It's really nice and easy. Um, Keypress OSD also has a mode where I'm going to bring this up here where I can expand this out and I can actually, actually add something called an input box. So if I want every time that I, I, I do this shortcut, which was SIG SIG for signature, it can ask me, what do I want to put right here? So if I have an email and it's like, hello, someone's name, and it goes into a description of how they fix a certain problem, I can add input box here and I can go hello and it'll pop up a box and I'll put Steve. Hello, Steve. This is how you do whatever. And all I've done is type SIG right here, and that gives me the option of doing that. So let's go ahead and um, show that. All right, right here, and let's go SID. So it's gonna be our fake one. All right, and close, and let's type SID space. Let's say Steve, and hit OK. And you can see here, it said Steve, Tablet Pro, and then our URL. So 
really cool. Uh, I will put the information here and a file in the description for this little uh, float window. Uh, let me show you the settings real quickly here. So I have float mode and I have a size. I have zero, so it's against the left side, 800, so it's down 800 pixels size, so it's 600 pixels square. Um, and then as far as what this is actually in here, let's move this to the side. You can see Z plus control shift, control Z, assist, shift S, uh, H plus win, win plus period, win key, enter, backspace, cut, which is control X, control V, control C, and keyboard. Uh, right here is a little move grip. This is frame, and this is frame with right drag. Oh, and right here, I didn't go over this. Um, this is a scroll wheel. So you can use this in a browser or in an email. Um, let's go ahead and go back here, and I'll demonstrate. Oh, we're not big enough here. Okay, so I make sure the pointer is over the window, and you can see how nicely that works. All right, you guys, that's it. I hope you found this really useful. Uh, I think this is super cool. I like being able to sit on the couch with my daughters in the room and answer emails without um, needing to do anything fancy. If you haven't subscribed, this is a great channel for anyone who has a tablet, a Windows 10 tablet. If you use a stylus, this is a great channel as well. I'll put links to everything I talked about in the description. And if you have any questions, please comment below.